Good morning, and it is a very early morning here in upstate New York. My name is Barb Malera. I'm a member of the team of Harvesting History. Harvesting History is an American company that specializes in heirloom seeds, roots and sets, flower bulbs, and other kinds of plants. Today we are going to be talking about poppies because it's midsummer and lots of gardeners don't know that there are many things that can be planted or should be planted midsummer. One of the most beautiful is the poppy. Take a look at this beautiful, beautiful blossom. And believe it or not, this whole stand of poppies was given to us by the wind. They're all volunteers from a poppy that was growing, oh, I'd say about 150 feet from here. There are various kinds of poppies. Some of them are annuals and some are perennials. This particular group of poppies is an annual and uh, it is nothing that we offer because it is a gift from Mother Nature. It is a cross-pollinization from Ameri Red American Legion poppies and several others that we have in the garden. But the Red American Legion poppy looks very similar to this poppy and this whole stand is annuals. We'll also discuss some other poppies to give you an idea of what the perennial varieties look like. Just take a look at this beautiful, beautiful poppy. Look, look at the intricacy inside this blossom and the magnificent color orange. These poppies in my garden are more orange than red. Sometimes this poppy is more red than orange. Remember though, poppies don't make good cut flowers. You shouldn't cut them and use them in a vase because they'll die within a matter of hours, but you can enjoy them. These poppies have been blooming in my garden for roughly three days now, these single blossoms. But once again, just look at how gorgeous this is. And this is the Oriental Scarlet Poppy. This is another poppy that we offer on our website. This is the beautiful Iceland poppy. And again, look at the size of this blossom and look, look at the beauty inside that blossom. Again, this is the Iceland poppy. See this beautiful pink poppy? This beautiful pink poppy came from the same parent as the red poppies I was just standing next to. So you can see poppies tend to uh, mutate very rapidly out in nature. Poppies are best planted either in August or in November throughout the country. If you are going to plant poppies, the seed is very tiny. They are little black spheres, the same little black spheres that you eat in poppy seed cake or poppy seed, poppy seed muffins. Those little black spheres you're going to take and with your hand, you're going to broadcast them like you would grass seed over the surface of the soil and then take your hand and just pat down. Don't cover, just pat down and then water heavily and that's all you have to do. In either case, either in August or November, that's how you plant poppy seed. Now is the time of year that you should be purchasing poppy seed. I encourage you to visit our website www.harvesting-history.com. We have a large selection of both annual and perennial varieties of poppies. As you can see, they are a luscious part of any garden.